back. You see the title of the video? Before I get into it at all, this video is going to be a piggyback on the last video that I made. So, before, if you haven't seen that one, check that one out. You don't have to, but it'll make this video make a little more sense. But anyway, back to this video. You see the title, Why I Don't Watch uh, Self-Improvement Videos Anymore. Now, um, first things first, I'm not going to say self-improvement videos are bad and you need to stay away from them. Hell no, because self-improvement videos are how I got to where I am today and why I feel like I can make my own videos now, right? But eventually it hit a point when I felt like I didn't need those videos anymore. And the reason why I felt like that is because I understood what I was doing and where I was going with my life. You know what I'm saying? Like what I want to do with my life. I figured all that out and those videos helped me. So I feel like if you want to watch self-improvement videos all the time or, or whatever, like that's fine. Do you. I'm just talking about why I don't do it anymore. You know what I'm saying? And it's really just because I feel like I don't need them. You know, I, I feel like a lot of self-improvement channels are really to help you. This is just the way that I view them. But I feel like they just, they're there to help you get on your journey, figure out your path, figure out your direction. And then you go from there. You know what I'm saying? Now, even you can, I'm not saying that you can find your path and then you got to stop watching self-improvement videos. No, I'm not saying that at all. If you want to keep watching those videos, be my guest. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm just, again, talking about why I decided to stop doing it. You know what I'm saying? Like the channels that I, that helped me, I still pop in occasionally just to see what's up. You know what I'm saying? See what they, see what they're talking about or whatever. Just see what they on. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, not even for the most part, a hundred percent, I'm not really subscribed to any, uh, self-improvement channels, you know, anymore. You know what I'm saying? And it's just at this point in my life, I understand where I'm going. I understand what I want to do. And I feel like in a way, when you're uh, always looking at what other channels are talking about and stuff like that, in, in that, um, I guess in that side of YouTube, and this is a point that I made in the last video that I was just talking about, it can kind of change or or move kind of kind of make you veer off on uh, um in a direction that you might not need to be going in you know what i'm saying not to say this is going to take you in a bad direction but it if you know what path you're on realistically nothing can really move you nothing should be able to move you off of that you know what i'm saying so i feel like self-improvement videos are an amazing thing you know what i'm saying they help me tremendously but i feel like it's kind of like it kind of like a parent like you know, your parents raise you till you're about, you know, 18, whatever, something like that. And then over time, they start to let go because you start to be able to discern and move on your own. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't always need that guidance. You know what I'm saying? I think that's the best way for me to put it. You eventually stop needing the guidance from other people or outside sources and you learn how to guide yourself because you've built yourself up enough internally. That's all it is. <laughs> That's all I was trying to say. So hopefully that made sense, man. I'm going to keep this one short. I got to go to work soon. So, uh, yeah. That's all I got. But I'm going to catch you on the next one, man. Y'all take it easy. I love y'all. Peace.